Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. A cruise ship arrived in Nanaimo on Friday, bringing more than 2,500 passengers with it, and that got some local businesses coming up with very creative ways to leave an impression. Iron Oxide developed an art bomb. Judy at the helm in a spot usually filled by men, sailing for all ages in Nanaimo and a brand new clue for Todd and Derek. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and I'm just going to share with you that I'm very excited to be here at Iron Oxide Art Supplies underneath the Firehouse Grill in downtown Nanaimo. They've been open for Janu since January. I knew we'd get here eventually. Willow Friday is up to some amazing things, one of which is creating an art bomb that's taking place in downtown Nanaimo. We're going to talk about that on this edition of Go Island. In the sailing world, the captain's seat is typically dominated by males, but for husband and wife team Judy and Frank Button, it's Judy at the helm when they're on the waters and they're racing their boat, Big Rags. Judy is hoping for a victory at the upcoming Swiftsure International Yacht Race that runs May 24th to 26th. And they're also going to be giving the Van Isle 360 another run next year. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I talked to Willow Friday yesterday. What is an art bomb? And I was just so impressed with the answer. What, why are you doing this? What is it? Well, I just want to promote art in the city and I want people to come and show up and see art happening and uh, create a community vibe that's really creative and fun. Excellent. Now, we're, you haven't seen it yet, but what it actually is are artists with easels set up all around town yeah. just painting yeah. because the cruise ship arrived and you want people to go away with what impression? I want people to leave and feel like this is the town full of artists because I know this to be true. I, I have an art supply store and I know how many artists there are here and it's phenomenal. So I want our visitors to know this and, and I, to spread the word. I would assume that the artists participating had no problem saying yes, absolutely. <laughs> the response has been phenomenal. Um, it was obviously weather dependent when you're painting outside and we have a lovely day today. So there's already people showed up right away and started painting and there's more to come. I think it's going to come and go in phases. Um, and I'd like to see this happen all the time. Yeah. I think this is just a wonderful thing to do. Excellent. Well, we're going to meet a man later on this edition of Go Island who you've inspired to plant flowers. Oh, yay. <laughs> I love tell us. flowers. <laughs> I'll tell you more about that later. You have an art show that's running here for a couple of weeks. Tell we me about do. that. We do. It's featuring Dennis Brown, who's an abstract watercolorist and acrylic art artist. And um, he does phenomenal stuff, beautiful colors. One of his pieces almost brought me to tears yesterday. When he was putting it up, I had this overwhelming urge of, I don't know, joy? <laughs> Anyways, his artwork will be up till June 2nd. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So you can get more information through Iron Oxide Art Supplies if you want to come check out that art exhibit for yourself. We'll be back with more art bombing in action <laughs> after a short break. Still to come today, sailing for the young in Nanaimo and Todd and Derek face a brand new challenge in clock. I'm Amy Greenaway, Program Coordinator at the Nanaimo Museum. Did you know that Departure Bay has had a ferry since the 1870s? Uh, fare from Departure Bay to Nanaimo was 25 cents. Well, this is an art bomb in process. Dan Gray works in pastel. You might be familiar with his work because your image graces our Facebook cover page quite often and our Twitter feed cover page and all that, so thank you. Uh, and you, you paint outside this, a lot. This is my life. This is how I experience uh, life, it's behind my easel. Everything happens on the other side of my easel to me. So when uh, Willow called and said, come down for the art bomb, I'm here. This is, the, this is my life. Do you think that people like the 2500 cruise ship passengers that descended upon Nanaimo on Friday are impressed by seeing artists on the street? What impression do you think it actually leaves with them? Yeah, 
it's, it's hard to say what it does individually, but there is a little part that says Vancouver Island is a place where art is being made and it will stick to the, in their minds. Oh, I saw a painter. Oh, I saw a weaver. Oh, I saw a carver on Vancouver Island. And that's my goal is to say Vancouver Island is a place where art is being made. And so if I think that, then I'd better go out and make art. Oh. And it's, <laughs> it's the best part of my life. <laughs> And you're also saying something else when you're outside making art. I notice a little sign behind your oh, yeah. uh, easel here. What, what's yeah, that all about? I, I'm, I'm what, double tasking? Whatever, whatever <laughs> that is. Double tasking, yeah. multitasking. It's it. And I'm just, uh, I'm here to support the First Nations in uh, stopping the Enbridge, putting their oil tankers and bitumen out. And okay. so I'm, it's an important time to me. And you've had quite an experience recently. I've got a Hiltzik brother, I've got a Hiltzik ancestor that came about on this journey, uh, so I'm a lucky man. Okay, let's, let's, and I know people probably have no clue what we're talking about. There's a YouTube video that people can people sort of watch. People can see the uh, reflections, it's on YouTube, it's Artist for an Oil-Free Coast, and my brother's in it, I'm in it, and a lot of our notable artists are in it. Excellent, and that's quite significant because Dan just shared with us that he doesn't have any blood brothers or blood relatives that he knows of so to have a brother like this is quite significant and do check out reflections artists for an oil-free coast to find out more about what one of our favorite artists is talking about dan gray we're going to head over to the waters now a bit of a theme taking place on today's edition of go island you might think about sailing as a sport for those with lots of leisure time perhaps retired people but as kelly robinson shows us next sailing is for all ages Very welcoming at the Yacht Club and even go so far as to say that hitching a ride on a Wednesday night, a sailboat ride, is not out of the question. If you'd like more information on the programs offered, you can go online, www.nanaimoyc.ca. We're wandering the streets of Nanaimo today because there is an art bomb taking place and we run into this guy. And I thought that he worked for the Firehouse Grill because, what are, what are you doing here? Planting some flowers. Why? <laughs> For, it's a nice day. It's Nanaimo is a great community. Why not? And these guys are friend of, friends yeah, of yours yeah, here. Really good friends of mine. So. And you just you're here for dinner sometimes, and you walk out and say this place needs some beautification. Why not? Everybody puts puts their time in downtown. Why not me? Okay. Uh, are you have any other plans for some other spots that you think need a little bit of my, color? My house. <laughs> okay, my house too. I live at. <laughs> this is awesome. So what have you done? You bought some dirt and. And some flowers and put them next to the tree. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. We need more people like that in our community, and we love running into people like this as we're hosting Go Island right here on Shaw TV. We'll be back with more after a short break. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. One of the great things about the art bomb is that you never know what interesting characters you're going to run into. This is Russ Moreland, and he has some characters of his own that are called lurkers. Yeah, that's right. I developed these characters about 10 years ago um, through a process of just, you know, painting different, like, creatures and stuff like that. And now they're really starting to take off for me. And what do you accredit that take off to? I it's think, quite spectacular. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, it's really, really taken off for me in the last six months, but uh, I think it's just because it's different and nobody else is really doing what I'm doing. There is other artists in the world that are doing similar styles, but in this area especially, I'm quite unique, I would say. Okay, now when we say take off, there are shoes coming out? Is that connected to the lurkers? Yeah, if everything goes according to plan, I have some lurk shoes coming out with a company called Etnies. Uh, they're a skateboard company. Okay. I also have a toy coming out at the end of the year from a company in L.A. Now, how did they find you? Instagram. Instagram's been the biggest oh, social, social media. media thing I've ever used. Like, Facebook is just done, and Instagram is the way to go. Okay, and actually, I will support that, because we recently went down to social media camp in Victoria. They said exactly that very thing. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. as I have my Facebook page up and running at the moment. No. So who are <laughs> these characters? What, what's this one you're working on now? Well, now I'm doing a lot more landscapes, so I wanted to incorporate some of the things, you know, like sort of local field. So it's got a lot of sort of the evergreen sort of trees going on in here. Um, this will be the bastion. 
Okay. So I'm going to do a lurk bastion. It's going to have some eyes and a mouth, stuff like that. You know, so just trying to incorporate some local feel for this event especially. Okay. Now, are they evil people, these, these lurkers? Are no. they curious? Who, what, what, what are they like? I'd like to think they're more like modern fairy tale characters. So they cover all of the aspects of emotion. You know, they might, there might be some evil, grumpy, but there's also happy, sad. They're more just, well, just lurking, I guess. And they, they're young. They're, they seem young. Yeah, they almost youthful. remind me a little bit of, um, there's a kid's TV show, uh, Yo Gabba Gabba. Right, I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a similar style. Actually, that artist himself is in the same genre that I work in, which is called the lowbrow underground art scene, or pop surrealism is the actual term. And is that growing in Nanaimo? It's grown a little bit with help, like with like guys like myself that are doing a lot yeah. more of it in my gallery. But I mean, in some countries, it's huge. Like in the States, in San Francisco, LA, that scene is bigger than most art scenes. And you go there and experience. Yeah, that. I've been to San Francisco a few times, yeah. So. OK. You can experience it for yourself here in Nanaimo at the Electric Umbrella. It's in the Old City Quarter. And there's actually a show running now. It's called Locals Only. Runs through until, I think, about June the 10th. You can get more information on Facebook yeah. or on Instagram, <laughs> I think. We're gonna throw things over now to Todd Jones and Derek Johnstone is a brand new edition of Clocked. They set another record. I need some help to stump these guys. Kate.bergen at sjrb.ca. If you have any ideas for Clocked, I obviously need a little bit of inspiration because those two guys are just too smart. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. Another artist here participating in the art bomb. It's Danielle Dixon. And I can say how much fun we've had in downtown Nanaimo today. The energy, the feel, the people, the art has been second to none. Thanks for watching Go Island. We'll see you next time. Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.